How do you prevent leak paths from overcompressing in O-rings? We come across a lot of overcompression issues, and that's why having the proper ratio of gland volume to O-ring volume is crucial for any application. Avoid this design flaw, and you can make sure your product is executed properly. So let's start with the question. Is rubber a compressible fluid? A lot of our customers are under the impression that rubber compresses volumetrically, but it actually does not. A question we frequently hear is how to make sure that the rubber seals avoid overcompression. We have a lot of customers, for example, who want to be able to have as little force as possible for small motors so that they can save energy. We achieve this by having the proper O-ring volume to groove volume ratio. With too much O-ring volume and not enough groove volume, the force increases over packing the gland, which can cause seal failure in an application. One downward spiral. To prevent leak paths for fluid to escape, the O-ring must be displaced in the gland, or else the force to compress the O-ring will exponentially grow. As a general rule of thumb, maximum O-ring volume should never exceed 90% of the minimum gland void. As you can see here, the O-ring being packed into the gland has too high of an insertion force. The result? Premature failure of the seal. So how can you avoid overcompression in your application? Make sure there's enough groove volume to accept the entire O-ring. This allows the seal to expand, fit in the groove, and not fill the entire volume. 